up guys welcome back to my channel so i just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my journaling um so i talk to you guys a lot about journaling in my motivational videos and i just feel that it's one of those exercises where if you can't find a therapist to go to or you can't afford one or you're having a really hard time talking to people or maybe trusting someone to talk to journaling is one of the things that has really helped me cope with certain things journaling has helped me deal with certain emotions um journaling has you know helped me uh uncover a lot of things peel away layers of certain things that i had to heal from and i encourage journaling so much because i've told you guys in the past you can sit at your laptop and treat it like a diary and just type away and then close it back up. Uh, you can write notes in your phone, you know, that's fine. But I feel like there is so much power when you pick up a pen and you are releasing all that energy and those emotions physically on a piece of paper in a book and you can always kind of go back and turn the pages. It's almost like reading. It's pretty much reading a book of your life when you kind of look back. And I always say the only time you should only go look back is to see how far you've come. All right. So for me, it has really been a tremendous tool in healing from things. Um, and even if there aren't things that I have to heal from, I write in my journal not only when things are bad, but when things are good. Like I just feel like it's one of those things that I just kind of want to release it. You know what I mean? And also, if you look up ways to manifest certain things in your life, um, especially when you're reading The Secret, um, it talks about writing things down and manifesting things that you want to, you know, um, want in your life whether it's success relationship love um you know great health but you guys can go do your research on that i am not the author of that book i just absolutely love that book um but anyway so i went shopping today and i bought three journals i only needed one and i bought three there was i finished my journal the other day now this journal is probably number six i don't I've been journaling probably since I was, I want to say maybe since I was in high school, but there's been years in between where I just didn't journal, you know, but I still have those journals. I still have those journals. I still, you know, I haven't looked at the ones that I started way back when, but the most recent ones I do have. Sometimes... Um, it's, it's a little, uh, crazy to kind of look back at all the things that I've been through and, you know, it's nice to see the changes that I've made or maybe changes that I didn't make that I should make or, you know, it's always good to just kind of look back and see how things have changed in your life. You know, it's always good to just reflect and, you know, it's sometimes it's, it's part of self care. It's, it's self care is just letting go of any negative things that you may be feeling, things that are on your mind, things that are taking up space in your head that shouldn't be there. Um, this is a good place to put it in a journal. At least if you put it down, I sometimes would write until I feel like I can't write no more. Sometimes I want to write one page and it turns into five. That's how deep it can get. And then when I'm done, it almost feels like I don't have that feeling anymore. Like it's just healing to be able to write in a journal so just wanted to share you guys how I like to pick out my journals so I don't like plain journals I like colorful journals I like journals that have certain sayings on them you can see this one here it's in gold it's hard to see but it says choose happiness every day I am big on affirmations I have affirmations in my phone I have them in sticky notes inside of my journals. I have them in sticky notes in my planner. I have 
I have a board under my Pinterest account with nothing but affirmations. As you guys can see, if you follow me on Instagram, I love posting affirmations. I am big on affirming things and speaking life into myself. Um, you can't you can't expect people to kind of always cheer you on and you you can't expect too much out of people and things because when you expect that you kind of get disappointed when you don't get it so you have to rely on yourself you have to speak life into yourself every single day whether it's a good day a bad day whether you're going through it or not it's always so helpful and it's always so necessary for you to always speak affirmations into yourself believe in yourself have faith in yourself so that's how I like choosing and they're always hardcover. I don't like soft cover uh, journals. I feel like over time, especially if you're a big writer, they kind of get a little messy after a while. Um, but anyways, I just finished my journal probably two days ago. Um, so I just continue on with the next one. So today I bought three new journals instead of one because I just couldn't choose. So I just wanted to share with you guys my journals. So the first one I chose is this pretty one. It's like navy blue and it has, you know, nice little roses on it. The inside of it is like this cute pink that I absolutely love. It has a gold, gold ribbon or gold elastic to keep it closed. And it says, with God, all things are possible. So I am very big on God's word. I am very big on faith and prayer. So this was an absolute must for me. I love that. And I love being able to read the cover of my journal when I pick it up to write and just use it as a reminder. Whatever is on this cover is a reminder to me when I get ready to write into my journal. That's why I choose it that way. The second one is this really cute, it's almost like a spring looking one, but I love the green in it. It has a bunch of flowers and it has a gold elastic to keep it closed. The inside of it is green and this one has flowers on the edges. This one, the, the paper feels a little thinner than the other ones, um, which I don't mind, but I prefer like harder paper. Um, but still, this is a really cute one. This one says, live life in full bloom. Hence the blooming flowers. And then the third one is really cute. This is kind of springy, fallish. Um, it's really, really cute. This one has like a coral colored elastic to keep it closed. Pink inside. And this one has harder paper inside, just like the first one I showed you. This one says, each day is a fresh start. So to me, having a journal that already has an affirmation on it is just super helpful as a reminder, especially if you're writing in your journal when you're having a bad day, you just read the cover when you first open it and right there is already affirming that everything's gonna be okay. So that's how I like choosing my journals. But again, the choice is yours um, and it kind of makes it even more fun and more interesting to journal when you have, see, I don't like plain Jane paperback books. I like hardcover, I like something colorful, I like the affirmation, um, I like everything about it and it, it makes me more eager to wanna write in it, you know? So there you guys have it. I just wanted to share my little journal, uh, <laughs> how I journal, how I pick my journals, and you know what I like about journaling. So anyway, leave your comments down below. Let me know if you guys journal. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more stuff like this about little things that I like, and you know, let me know in the comment section down below. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel, hit like, share. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. Also, don't forget that my YouTube memberships is up. I have two levels over there. One of them, uh, level one, will get you priority replies, polls, and um, live streams with me. The second level will get you all of my reactions to my shows, movies, and I'll all uncut, try not to laugh, along with everything that comes with level one. All right, so go and check that out. To those of you who are already members, thank you so much for being a member. I appreciate you guys so much. And to all of you, as always, I support 
I, I appreciate all of the support that you give me. So thank you guys for being here. I'll see you guys later.